TV today. We welcome you all, wherever you're uh, watching us from. We welcome you back to the channel. Do not forget to like, comment, <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, Blandy family. I'm here with my beautiful host, Sis Janice. You want to say something? Good afternoon. Whatever time you're watching us from, we just want to appreciate you this afternoon. Um, thank you for being there with us. We just want to welcome you. Get your friends on board. We're going to be talking something very interesting today. I'm Janice, as usual. And thank you so much. Stay tuned with us today. Please stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Keep up posted. Keep your comments coming in. Be a part of this fun tonight. Okay? Please. So today, guys, today is May 15th. Sunday, we're going to start at 529. And I'm the host for today. Every Sunday, join us at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Sunday for us to learn. If you have any comment, anything that you want us to talk about on the show, do not be shy. Let your uh, Leave your comments on the sh um, show, and we're definitely going to do whatever you ask us to post on the video. And today, like I said, today we're going to talk about blending family. We're going to talk about this the good and the bad, the uh, advantage and the disadvantage. Today we're going to talk about the good ones. Uh -huh. What are the good things that happen in blending family? Because now marriage are uh, divorced. People going every day, you hear another divorce in a marriage. People don't last long in a marriage. And without, some people have a lot of kids. They go and start another family and it's a blending family. So now it's if you look on the internet, if you search Google or Facebook, it's a lot of blending family now. So I'm going to ask my course host, what is blending family? Sis Jenny, what is blending family? Blending family. Oh, my God. It's, I don't know, but um, I know it's a beautiful thing. Uh, blending family, from my own way of understanding, I'm not going to go to the Google definition mm -hmm. or uh, the dictionary definition, I'm going to define from my own understanding what I understand blended family to be. Um, from my late understanding, I believe and I understand blended family to be, um, for instance, a man and a wife, a husband and a wife are married, mm -hmm. and they, both of them brought two separate children into that marriage. For yeah. instance, I'm married and I brought my kids from my previous relationship or my previous marriage yeah. and I brought those kids into the family or that child into my marriage home yeah. or my husband brought his father children or his child into that home. Yeah. So it's two different children or three, four, but from different relationship or different parents coming together into one home. Yeah. So that's what I understand blended family to be. So like you said, then the family is like two different people have sep they have their children already. Separately. They yes. all come together to become to one. To become one. So we're going to talk about the this, I mean, advantage. What are some good advantages about blending family or good things that you, or, you know, back home, our family and our mom come together, different children and all that. What are some good uh, there are a lot of advantages and there are a lot of good things when it comes to blended families. Um, I wish I grew up in a home with a blended family. Um, <laughs> but thank God my both parents were young when they got married. So all of my siblings are from mom and dad. But I'm from a family where my parents brought in a lot of other children into the home. But I didn't get to have my siblings. I know my dad had other kids out, out of marriage yeah. when he and my mom were married together. But I, I don't remember them living in the house because I was young at the time. Some of them my age, so mm -hmm. I can't remember us being in the house to remember those things. But um, some of the advantages of blended families, like I would say somebody entrusting the child with you. Mm -hmm. For instance, I'm, I'm not married right now, and if God should bless me and I'm married and my husband have kids mm -hmm. and their mother Entrusting them into my care. Yeah. I see it as a blessing. Yeah. I see it as, as an advantage. I see it as an honor, you know, yeah. for someone to entrust you with their child or their children. Yeah. And that child or that children, uh, I'm, I'm looking up to you 
to be to be to be the hero you know yeah. looking up to you to be the person that they, they want to learn from the person that they want to uh, 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 kind of copy like a role model so i see it as a blessing those are the the, the advantages i see in a blended family where you're in a position you can wake up in that in that moment and see yourself oh my god i'm i'm here right now for instance, if something could happen in that moment, like some 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 nine woman call, who who they gonna go to? Yeah. They're gonna come to you first. They're gonna come to me first. Yeah. So I see it as a blessing, you know, mm -hmm. because not everybody get an opportunity to to be in a place where somebody can entrust you with their child. Okay. You know, not everyone have that opportunity. Not everyone is being blessed to be called a mom. Okay. You know, so I see it from that place as a blessing. So, like my course host said, she see it as a blessing. For me, I would say it's a good thing. The good thing is that if you have two, your children by themselves, at least they have someone to play with. They're not by themselves no more. So, that's right. one of the good reasons that I say, like, if I have a child or son he's by himself, if my son, if my husband comes with another kid, at least he has someone right. that can he can play with. They can share ideas together and all that. Right. So that's one of the good things about blended family. And some of the other good things of blended family, you you you, you can learn from that child. Yeah. In as much you think that child is looking up to you, yeah. but you also learn it from that child. Yeah. You're trying to learn who that child is. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get to build a relationship with that child. Yeah. You're trying to know the, 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 the things that makes that child happy. Yeah. What are the things that brings joy to them? You're trying to know, to try to, I know you will not understand everything about them, mm -hmm. but in your own little way, you want to sit there and ask, I wonder what's going in his or her mind yeah. from that little age. What are they thinking about, you know? Yeah. And one of the things you look at, especially when they are little, mm -hmm. I see again as a blessing where you become a part of their lives. Yeah. Their outbringing, you become a part of it. Yeah. So for me, <laughs> I can say that it's a lot of things that come with blended family. It's a lot of things. And it's a, like, imagine you have teenager. it's a lot of work, we're gonna talk about part. And the babies, it's just <laughs> it's a lot of it's things that come with blended family. And the few things I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna ask this, Jenny, is that the finances, Finances, do they get better or when you have two couples together, the money is coming in together, do it like help the family or it put more stress or? Uh, I would say, I, I think when it comes to relationship, I think the major thing is understanding. Mm -hmm. Understanding and love being the, the pillar of that relationship. But you are Christian, we say God first, yeah. you know, and we know the God we serve is a God of love. Yeah. So when you love your partner, you love your wife, yeah. the both of you finances become one. And we should always understand when the Bible say, the woman is just a helpmate. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean because she's a helpmate, so she should sleep all through the day. No, that's not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking from the Bible point of being a helpmate. Mm -hmm. And we also understand a good wife, you know, yeah. helping out in the house. So finances is all understanding. I know a lot of times um, pressure, stress, a lot of the trouble come in marriages too because of finances. Yeah. But when you guys understand each other and you begin to plan together, planning, mm -hmm. you know, even if it is a dollar you bring home in a month, but when you're playing that dollar well, mm -hmm. you're playing how to spend that dollar, you guys can be happy. Yeah. I don't I don't see I know sometimes people will say, Oh, blended family, it brings a lot of stress, a lot of but it's all understanding. Mm -hmm. Because if you have that blended family, you say, Okay, we're gonna spend a, a, a thousand on this child for this month yeah. and we're gonna do it's all understanding, you know? Okay. And that being I always tell people, don't don't live your life because you want to please people. Yeah. Live your life because you want you pleasing God and you want to be happy. Yeah. Because you can never please man. Yeah. So just balance your life on your own joy and pleasing to the God you serve. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because who cares? Nobody cares. Pe people don't care. You know, so just do what makes you happy, what you think is, is it will make you happy, make your family happy, make your kids happy. So hey, I know sometimes in blended families, and maybe we'll come to that, so let me not go ahead of myself. Yeah, don't go for so let me, let me just stay right, right yeah. here, Jenny. Stay yeah, right here. Talking about the good things. So. Yeah, stay right here, Jenny. <laughs>
So like she said, fin to me, finances is good because if you by yourself, finance, you working and it's a little bit hard by yourself That's and you so have cool. another partner with you, the yeah. money, it help in little ways. In the case, I mean, to take out the case, it's like you have to put this one, oh, we have to put this money aside next week. Maybe we'll go on vacation or right. go out to eat. So at least you'll have extra money to work together Ooh. and stuff. So it's better that right. way because the Bible says two is better than one. Do so. What? Finances with two is way better for me. Wow, way, better. way better. So that's one of the plenty good thing about the Blenny family. And the next question I want to ask my beautiful course ho is that happiness in the home. If you have like all these kids, they're running in the house, and you come home, they're running to you. I mean, Blenny family. Do they like? Is it happiness gonna be in the home all the time or? Yes. I will say yes. And the reason why I say yes because um, in every relationship, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say this from my own little experience now. In every relationship, you, have, you need to get to know your partner. Mm -hmm. Get to know your partner. No rush. Don't rush into anything. Take your time. If that man is for you, he will wait for you. If that woman is for you, she will wait for you. Take your time, no rush. And another thing I'm going to say, when you see a couple of red flags, investigate the red flags. Yeah. Don't just leave it alone like, oh, I would just leave it, you know, when I'm married, then we'll take care of it. No. <laughs> Start taking care of it now so that when you're married, yeah. it won't grow and get wings and start flying, you yeah. know? Yeah. So when it comes to the children, like, when I meet this man and I know he have kids and we're gonna I'm going to join it with my part of prophetic food that I have <laughs> I already made up my mind that I'm oh I'm headed for a big family yeah I'm a person already I want a big family I'm mm -hmm. telling you so I already finished telling myself okay I want a big family all I want in this big family is understanding yep. it doesn't matter how many children because I already signed up for it you know yeah. I already prepare myself I prepare my mind mm -hmm. my body my spirit is already prepared for it mm -hmm. All I want in return is understanding and love. Yeah. And I cannot do it on my own, mm -hmm. or he cannot do it on his own. Mm -hmm. I need him, he need me. Yeah. We need the kids. We also need the parents on board as well. Like the blended family, we need the mom, mm -hmm. if it is a mom or a dad. We also need them on board as well. Mm -hmm. Because in order for us to be happy, they all have to tap into it. Yeah. And somebody will say, what is she talking about? For instance, if my husband kids are in the house, yeah. in order for me to be happy, the parents have to allow them to respect me. So yeah. there are some rules that need to be set in place. Yes. There are some rules. Like for instance, they can be in my house and I cook. Mm -hmm. The moment I finish cooking, they say, oh no, our mom said we can't eat from you. Yeah. You know? So there are some rules. So those things that like the Bible said, do unto others as you desire them do unto yeah. you. And I will say this to us women. Because most of the time, I'm telling you, the problem comes for us women. I'm course, telling you, men, it will only come for men for a short while because of jealousy. Mm -hmm. And the men will only show you when they see you have another man in your life. Yeah. Then they start to get jealous. Oh, my God. This is what I didn't do. Now somebody else is doing it. Mm -hmm. But we women are the ones who take it to the next level. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. So to us women, if you did, okay, I will leave that. Let me not go ahead of myself. She's you trying know? to spoil the whole I'm not going thing. ahead of myself. So in order for me to be happy, please, I need you to, you know? Yeah. I need you to help me discipline your children. Yeah. Put yourself in my shoes and ask yourself, if the coin was turned around, yeah. would you want somebody to do it to you? No. You know? Because the Bible said, do unto others as you desire them do unto you. Of course. So let when your kids come in the house, the same respect your children you want for your children to give you, mm -hmm. encourage them to give me that same respect yeah. and leave it to me to prove myself, you know? Yeah. Don't just say, oh, because she was that because of all your dad now with me. Oh, no. Let's just put that behind us mm -hmm. and move ahead, yep. you know? Like you said, move ahead. For me, I can say that plenty of family is, it can work in so many words. We can, we, most of us just look at the bad and be like, it's oh, it can't work. A it's a thing. lot of good things, like the kids coming together as one. You have all, like, you can, the kids can look at you, like, they can even forget about their own 
parents at mm -hmm. home and yeah. come to you and love you more because you there for them. You don't have to be the biological um, mom or parents. But like I said, like someone can take the kids to use that against you for your relationship right. to not work. But I'm not gonna go yes, into we'll all that not because to go into it. <laughs> yes. we we'll have to. I know the bad one gonna be juicy, but the good one is so juicy because a is. lot of it it's is. a lot of way that blending family can work and stuff. So if you jealousy, they talk about jealousy in a blending family. So me and you together, woman and God. And your son or your daughter keep coming to me, advice or they love me more. Do you t how t can you take that in a, in your uh, blending family? Well, for me, um, if if I'm the if I'm the wife in the house, yeah. or I would turn it around mm -hmm. just for the understanding of the of the public. Mm -hmm. If I'm the houseman the houseman in the house, yeah. and my daughter mm -hmm. is going to my wife, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Instead of coming to me, I think I would be the happiest man. You know, I'm yeah. just saying, I'm just using me as an example, please. I'm not a man, I'm a woman. <laughs> so I would, I would be the happiest man in the house. Or me, a woman, and, and, and my son is going to their dad, instead of coming to tell me, I would be the happiest mom in the house. Yeah. The reason why, because I would look back and say, oh my God. My kids has built relationship mm -hmm. with this man. And I'm telling you, this is something that I'm asking God for every day. In my own personal life, I'm telling God, if God brings a husband my way, that one, I want a husband after God's heart. I want a husband who will love my children like his own. Yeah. Those two things, because I know when it comes to finances, he and I are going to pray together because the Bible said 10, 2 can chase 10,000. So, but those are my two major things, you know? Yeah. So if my kids relate to you, trust me, that is my joy. Yeah. You know, they're relating to you because it tells me they they, 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 they find joy in talking to you. Yeah. They are secure going to you. Yeah. Because when you see kids going to somebody, which means they trust that person. Yeah. You know, they have found something in that person that they're like, oh my God, I can relate to him or I can relate to her. And we as adults, we should see it as a blessing. You know, for a child to come to you and pull their heart to you and tell you things that are going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. I see it as a blessing. And it's important for us to open that door mm -hmm. so that they can be able to come to us and tell us more instead of going to their friends and making mistakes. Yeah. You see? So there's no room to be jealous. You know, and I know I know I listen to some people sometimes mm -hmm. like, oh I, I feel so bad. Why are they not coming to me? Yeah. Oh my God, for me, no, on my side, no, I don't feel bad. I will be happy. And you yeah. even went to him instead of coming to me. <laughs> then it tells me, oh, the house is peaceful. Yeah. Right? So we have Miss Stephanie on here on YouTube. If you're not on YouTube, guys, please turn into YouTube. It's Rachel TV on YouTube. And Rachel on Facebook. Please turn up and read and comment, listen, share the video. Those that are in blended family right now that are going through some problem or... They, they say they can't face it or it can't work. They can, I mean, we have we all have a opinion or we can all help. We don't know everything. We don't know everything, but we are trying our best. So if you have any comment, leave your comment and let us know. And like she said, siblings, how the sibling can handle each other in a blended family. If you just come in together, how can you handle that? The kids to get to know each other to respect and stuff. You know, they're coming from different homes. They're not used to you. They're not right. even used to your kids. How can you come in a good way that it won't tear the family? I'm really apart. Yeah. Um, then I'll go back to my upbringing that says, hey, to the word of God, I say a family who prays never shall depart. Yeah. Um, the Bible says, light your light so that others can see the good works in you. So that comes back to the parents, yeah. the mom and the dad. Because children imitate what they see us doing as mm -hmm. adults. Yeah. They say what they hear or say. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I will tell people all the time, children say what they hear or say. Mm -hmm. So if you bring it coming into the home with blended family, mm -hmm. go back to the, the, the flow of love. If my husband is loving to me, mm -hmm. trust me, no kids, they, they will have no option but to show love. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know sometimes there will be little tensions. Because it's two different children, two different families. Yeah. Think about it, your husband and wife who are mature, yeah. they, they, they first, then what about kids, you know? 
So you will always have little confrontation, little arguments. Mm -hmm. But you as parents, you should be the good example to them. You should let them know, hey, this is your brother. This is your sister. First, before the kids come in the house, you already explain to them, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So they just come in from outdoor and just like, oh, they don't know who this person is. I would advise you before even they come to spend yeah. time, try to know them. Yeah, you go out. Go out. Go mm -hmm. out multiple times. Yeah. Go out to eat. Yeah. Go do some shopping together. Go to the movie together, you know? Yeah. Try to build that relationship first. You know, that, that relationship that would just, maybe I would say 30 minutes, mm -hmm. one hour. You started from there. Yeah. 30 minutes, well, one hour, hour yeah. two hours, before you talk about spending time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even before you go to spending time, do weekends. Yeah. You know, or yeah. do a day. Yeah. Then you go to weekend. It's baby steps. Yep. Because sometimes we make the mistake and just bring that bag and say, oh, they got to come. Yeah. And we should understand if that child is from a home where the mother, I'm going to say mother because I'm talking about us women. Yeah. Um, where the mom has said all the negative things, for instance, about Lady Angie. Yeah. Or she said all the negative things about Janice. Yeah. So that child coming into the home already preloaded yeah. with all of the negativity. Mm -hmm. Janice did this, she did that, she did she that, you know, <laughs> all the negativity. Yeah. So it take a while, but then the, the load is on Janice now to prove herself wrong, yeah. you know, yeah. to say, oh, all my mommy said about Janice. Yeah. So that child is in the house, remember that child going to be a little bit aggressive to yeah. you, yeah. that child going to be a little bit resentful, mm -hmm. that child going to look at you like, oh, whatever she, well, what she's saying, you know, yeah. they're going to be disrespectful, yeah. but hey, as a mom or as a wife in the house, you should understand from where that child coming from. Yeah. So you play your role, be sensitive to that child, see that child where they are, and you just be a loving mother to that child. Yeah. That's all you do. With time, it will play itself out. It play itself out. Yes. Yep, like she said, just be patient because patient. we all come from different homes. And like my course host said that, Blending family, you just can't jump into that family. You you'll have to, like she said, you'll have to spend time, have activity with those yes. two little ones. I mean, the mom, take the kids out yes. and know them. And the yes. dad, take them out to know who you're dealing with because oh. you can't just, like, back home, we African, I don't, we don't know those things. Well, we know. just say, jump into it, and our relationship don't last, or it, it lasts in a different way. Right. But we don't even know about blending family. We don't know what to do. Oh. Sometimes our parents are the force in our relationship, but we're going to be back. We're going to take a 60 minute, 60 second. 60 second break, and we'll be right back, guys. As you're watching, we want to say thank you to all of you that are watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and join the family. We need you to grow. And please share the video with someone that needs to hear it right now. Yeah. All right? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Global TV. Today is May 15. We want to be on the show every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we want to be on Richico TV, YouTube, and Facebook. For those that are new to the channel, please, we would like you to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the video. We need your support. And today's uh, topic is 
blended family, the advantage and disadvantage. So today we're talking about the good things and blended family. So I got my beautiful course hole with me, Sis Jennings. So we're going to go back on the comment. Do you want to read the comments? Yes. Um, Sister Stephanie, we want to bless God for you so much. Um, she said, hi, ladies, looking beautiful. Thank you, sis. Thank you. She said, blended families allow children to get to know their other siblings. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's one of the beautiful things and the advantages of blended families, where the siblings get to know each other. Yeah. You know, we're it's talking better. about that yeah. earlier. And she said, blended family, if the parents of both sides get along, mm -hmm. the children are better off if yeah. both sets of parents are friends. Yeah. Yeah. So we talk, we talk, you see, we talk about respect. respect. Friendship yep. is very important. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you, sis, for that. She said it takes time, but it can be done. So what we talk about, taking a little time, mm -hmm. starting from a few yeah, hours, you know, know yeah, know getting to other. know them. It's yeah. time. It won't happen in a day. They are kids. They are children. In their mind, they feel something was taken away from them. Yeah. Put yourself in their shoes, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, they had a beautiful home. Mom was happy. Dad was happy. Yeah. And one morning, mom is not there. Dad is not there. They wake up to taking a bag to somebody else's house. Yeah. It takes time. Definitely. Do. Thank you, sis Stephanie. We bless God so much for you. She said communication is the key. Yeah. Oh, my God. This woman is so knowledgeable. So how can we... I'm going to answer that. So how can we do that in a blended family? In a blended family... um. Show respect to the other parent. Yeah, I would say showing respect. How can we show respect if he has? So I don't want to go to you know our the yeah. yeah. Okay, but. so um, for instance, mm -hmm. you you play your part. You know, yeah, you play your part because you want peace in your home. Yeah, and we we're gonna go back to I always put it to who we are as children of God. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, because um, we don't we don't fight flesh and blood. Yeah. So you be the peacemaker. I know it, it will be difficult, but it takes a working process. Yeah. It's a long way, but you keep the faith and you be you. You be the good example. Because one day that other partner, it's only anger that get them reacting the way they're reacting. Mm -hmm. But if you play your part, you show them how good you are. Mm -hmm. You be yourself. You be honest about it. Mm -hmm. And with time, with God's grace, things will change. So uh, Blenny family... If somebody come, one of your peers, your husband come to you in a rude tone, how do you like? How do you talk to him in a good way for you to not explore or go above, uh, not speaking to each other for three or four days and stuff? Okay, um, in a blended family, first the first thing you need to first know who you are. Yeah. Because like they say, you can't you can't wash your dirty clothes outside. Mm -hmm. You have graduated from that level. You need to know who you are. Mm -hmm. So if the other Parent come and being disrespectful, mm -hmm. you don't have to be disrespectful okay. to them. Okay. You you speak love to them. Because love is a language that goes deeper than anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't care how this I know someone they can be very disrespectful to the point sometimes you be there, mm. yeah. You know, sometimes yeah. you just take in a deep breath right when God sees, you know, because he put it in you yeah. and he knows it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then when they leave, you let your partner know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he, she came today, or he came today, and they were very disrespectful. Yeah. But I'm not going to pay them no more. I'm not going to be disrespectful to them. So you always elevate yourself. You always make yourself to be that top person where you're not going to settle for little, you know? Yeah. You're not going to put your daddy clothes outside. Mm -hmm. You're going to go to the level. You're going to be up here. You know, and as you up here, you keep going. Why they keep coming down? Why do you keep being nasty and being angry? You be making yourself better. Yeah. That's why you do. You keep bettering yourself every day. So you don't pay them no, you know? Because it's just, they're just looking for room yeah. for you guys to force. Yeah. And you don't want to force when you got children in between. Yeah. You need them. I don't care what. You need them because I know sometimes, sometimes people can say, oh, I don't need his children. Oh, no, you need his children. <laughs> You do, girl. You need his kids. Because in as much he loves you, those are part of his life, too. Yeah. And the thing good. about us women, we should only, we, we, we put to forget, oh, I, I'm married to the man. I'm not married to her kids. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so sad when women say that. I feel so sad because 
deep in a man's heart, those are his children. Yeah. I don't care how happy you can make him, deep inside him, those are his children. Yeah, you cannot just you pick know? one kiss and like, I love no. this one because it's coming from my no. one and this one is not I coming. I don't know how, how women deal with that. Yeah. I don't know how they even understand that word because they say nine months you went to. Yeah, the she other went lady. To, even though she didn't go to nine months, she went to six months, but that's the same process, you know. <laughs> she every mother wants the best for her children. Of every course. mom. Yes. Every good mom. Yeah. Even the world say every mom. Mm -hmm. You know? So my course host said every mom want the best for their children. I don't care. They want that child to go to college, yes. make them proud. We all want that. We don't want our kids to end no. up somewhere that we no. don't want it to be. So the kids come in, the kids are involved, and the next parent, uh, I mean, like, if you have this, the child that bringing chaos in the family, how do you solve that problem? First, like in a good way, we're not talking about yes, in yeah. a good way. Like yeah. I talk, we talked about it earlier. Um, be an example, okay? Yeah. You know, it's a working process because I'm telling you, some kids it takes time, it's a working process, yeah. And we as parents should understand that they are kids, mm -hmm. they have gone through a lot or whatever they're going through in their life because no one in their own rightful mind, in a right sense, in a in a in a, in a good mind. Or want to be disrespectful mm -hmm. or be resentful. Something must have happened. Yeah. Something took place. Mm -hmm. Be it in the realm of the spirit, because we, we, we Christians, we believe there are spiritual things that takes place. Mm -hmm. So something must have happened. All that child must have heard something. Yeah. All that child was told something. So something happened that makes that child or those children to become resentful yeah. or disrespectful. Something must have happened. So what we need to do as a parent, Start to look for the root cause. Because if you can find the root cause, mm -hmm. then you can easily deal with it. Okay. Don't just brush over on the surface and say, oh, this, find the root cause. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Yeah. See how you can solve that problem. Go mm -hmm. to the source of it. Because when you are the source, then you try to solve it. Yeah. And solving it, it takes patience. It takes time. Yeah. It takes energy. It takes love. It takes everything you can put. Put that child in your shoes like your own child. Mm -hmm. Don't say, oh, now my husband's child. That's your child. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, so we met Miss Stephanie. She had comment on it on YouTube. She left some comment. Yeah, she let I left the woman. She 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 keep me. She said you have to put aside the past and move forward to for the sake of the kids. Yeah. So true. Yeah. That's why being better, it will help. It will not put help. it aside. You know, I always tell people, um, what, what can you learn from your past relationship? Because until you take responsibility, you're not going nowhere. Yeah. Some people say, I didn't do nothing. No, you must have done oh, something. Yes. Yeah. You must have done something. Because if you are doing it all perfectly, you know, you, know, you must have done something. She said, everything you do should have the children in mind. How can we as parents get along, in each, along with each other so that our children will be happy? And know that no matter which house they go to, there is love. Yeah, so. Showing love. How can we show love? There's so you many know, ways we can love. show love. Calling them, checking on that person, you know? Checking on them. Just a phone call. Thanks. I'm just checking to see how you're doing today. Hope all is well. I just pray God's blessing upon you. If that person is in need, and you think you can be a blessing financially, mm -hmm. whatever way you can be a blessing, you reach out to that person. You know? Or maybe that person in a place where they have given up, yeah. low self-esteem. You reach out to them. Yeah. But no matter what, you show love in all you can. You have to show love. You have to. All you can. You have to show you love no matter to. what. Your bad days. Like Sunday, you will not be in the moon. And you have you to show, have that's to. the time the kids need you in a bad days to show love, like you're there for them. How can you show support to your, 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 not your real kids, but your, your kids that come in the family that yeah, need, how can you show love or how can you be there for them? Or how can you, how can they trust you as you, as the mom or not some, you know, most like say that daddy come in the family with a girlfriend, oh, this is your stepmom. Two months, three months, they leave, put their trust in another lady, and she's not there no more. A new one come. How can they, like, 
Oh, I've been with so many mom. How can I trust this mom? I talk to her so many, that so many things about my life. She come and just leave me. How can she put? It's painful, and we as adults, we don't understand. We we don't see the danger we pose to our children when we make these mistakes. Yeah. Um, because making these mistakes and putting the kids into it from a very young age, mm -hmm. it goes with them the rest of their lives. Some children will be blessed to outgrow it. Some it will stay with them. That's why you see they will say, "Oh, this woman is she's of this age and she have a low self esteem." You know, mm -hmm. or oh, look at her; she she don't she don't even have confidence, or she can't do anything because something happened along that line, and that goes to the father. Why would you want to be bringing a woman every other three months, every other four months? Why why would you want to endanger your kids to that kind of a life? Or the same to a mom because women do the same thing too. Of course. Before I bring any man around my children, I am sure, I am confident, mm -hmm. I am ready. I'm not going to change today is poor. Next three months is speedy. Mm -hmm. Four months alone and now. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> you know? So a real woman, I'm going to say this, a real woman who is ready for a relationship. Mm -hmm. The moment she noticed that man have kids, and he said, oh, let go be my case. I would say, are you sure? Are you ready for this? Because I'm not going to meet your case if I'm not ready. You know, if I'm not ready, I'm not sure I'm going to be with you, then I'm not meeting your case because I don't want to come and meet them two, three months, then I'm gone. Yeah. And they see me in the grocery store all along the way. That one, one, one of daddy, oh, no, I don't want that. I don't, want, I don't want to be labeled as that person, you know? Mm -hmm. So she don't want to be one of no, those wild daddies. No, I don't want to be one of, and I don't think it's a good thing for anybody to put their children through. Yes. I don't think it's a good thing. It's it's, it's traumatizing. It's, it's, it's degrading. It's not a good thing. Yeah. So Ms. Stephanie left another comment. I don't know if you want to read it out so we can answer She said, for example, the new wife, husband, cannot be jealous of the ex-wife or the ex-husband. Oh. Getting along is so important in a good for the way. children. Yeah, so like we talk about it's all jealousy, and I would say this for women too. Most of the time, the problem is the women. Yeah, it's coming from I'm us. I'm telling you, the men they will be jealous for a short time, and the reason because they were wow, how did I miss this? Mm -hmm. It's all because they, they they lost you as a woman. They lost you, mm -hmm. so they will want to pull my guy. But for them, it's short. Yeah. But for the women, <laughs> huh? oh, women. It goes for I'm years. I'm telling you, we are the ones. Yes. The moment we're not in that picture, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the moment we're out of that picture and somebody else walk in that door, then it's on. The fire is on. Okay. But we don't have to live like that for the sake of our children. We don't have to live like that. If that man move on, release him, let him go. You know, for the sake of your children, build a relationship with the new wife in the yeah. home. In the home, I tell my kids that all the time. I say, me, if every woman woman had my mind, mm -hmm. trust me, I will build the best relationship I can build with you as a woman in the home because they're where my children going. Yeah, that's the home my children going to. Yeah. If you want to hurt me and you can't get to me, you're gonna get to my children. Of course. So I don't understand women who get. They don't talk to the girlfriend or the wife in the home because they're angry. But then your kids coming in the home. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I don't I don't think it's a healthy thing for us to do. It's not. Build a relationship with the wife. You don't have to be bestie. You can never be bestie. Mm -hmm. I will not be bestie with my ex-wife. My ex-husband wife. I cannot. I don't want to. Yeah. But we can have a good relationship. We can talk about the children. Mm -hmm. You know? So when my kids are coming over, I'm like, hey, Grace, my kids are coming over. X, Y, Z, check on this, let me know, keep me posted. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be like my kids' daycare, that's like daycare teacher, my kids' teachers. Mm -hmm. That's how I want a relationship, because I want to know everything that is happening in our home when I'm not there, because that wife is my eye. Yeah. If I'm not there, she is my eye. She, yeah, she's she the is. voice. Yeah, because... Like you say, you're not in the home. Whatever in the home, she gonna handle it. She gonna handle and you don't it. have that relationship. She can mistreat your child bad because you yes. in her home trying to bring a lot of argument for them to have a separation or whatever your plan is. Because some of us just get mad because whatever happened. We're not there. 
It's not that no more. No. It's over with. Just sister. Move on. Just let <laughs> just, it go. It's okay. <laughs> You're no. gonna find a new man. Don't let it go. Your kids are important. They're very important. If you love yes. them, you'll you'll try to talk to the stepmom. Because the stepmom will be in their home. She's not leaving until God says it's not for them to leave. Because we will do anything. We'll tell the kids, oh, don't listen to her. Don't respect her. Yes. On a daddy, no. She in the oh, home. Don't respect her. When Call daddy her when daddy left, when daddy leave the home, she the head yes. in that home. She gonna give them shower, right. but we wanna do everything and in the house. So we female have to learn or watch that it's then work. That we just let it go. My child is coming to this lady. I don't know she have a good heart or bad heart. So like she said, we have to let everything go and just have that relationship, relationship with the wife or the boyfriend or the husband okay. that will have that relationship and just before you go to before you go to the next question and one of the, the the important of letting it go because you don't want to make your child or your children the center of your 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 mistake you made yeah in your life yeah. you want them to be kids yeah you want them to 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 have fun yeah. you want them to enjoy the best they can enjoy mm -hmm. you want them to have their moments yeah. You know, and not yeah. making them the center and telling them things that are not true. Yeah, because whenever we tell children, they believe us. Mm -hmm. They look up to us. They believe yeah. us. So you, you don't want to mess it up now, because when you when you continue to lie, you got to keep lying. I, I, I like I don't know how people lie yeah. because you got to keep lying and keep lying. And if they that child find on the truth, mm -hmm. turn that on you. It will turn out on you. You yeah. don't want to get them messed up into daddy and mommy thing. Yeah. Let them be children. You know, yep. don't ask that. Oh, was she was she mean to you today? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you can ask. Hey, was she nice to you today? But don't go into detail. Did she no. tell you? Did she do this? Did she do this? what was she talking about? Did she mention money? Don't, don't put yeah. your child into that. You know, don't ask all those questions. Let them be children. Mm -hmm. Let them be free when they're in their mom house or the dad house. Yeah. So before we go on Sorry. break, I'm gonna ask her. The Bible <laughs> said that do not provoke the children. If you have a teenager. Your husband <laughs> come with teenager. Ah, teenager is a lot of problem. Oh Jesus! So we have this teenager. But I would say do not provoke them. That whatever they want, they respect you. So how can we go about not provoking our young teenagers, teenagers that join our family? You just you just gave me one because my son is fourteen. He just he fourteen. He taller than me already. He trying to get in my throat right now. I'm telling you the thing that people don't understand about teenagers. You have to be first in your home before even that child get to the teenage of stage. Set your rules. Mm -hmm. Like in my house, I like one of my main things now, this shit don't sleep, that this shit don't sleep in my sink. Yeah. I don't care, it's midnight, you leave it in that sink, I'm coming to wake you up. To watch it. To watch it. <laughs> I can't stand daddy's shit. I want my wake me. I can't stand daddy's shit. So, those things already being laid out before my my kids get to but teenage of rules. That will put this. Not for your no, household. I'm only saying that okay. because I'm only trying to set a scenario here. Okay. So before they get to that teenager rule, you already have your things placed before they get to seven, eight, nine, ten. So mm -hmm. setting rules. You know, setting rules first. Yeah. Don't wait until they reach 12, 14 before you want to start setting rules. It's too late. And sometimes it's too late, it's you too know. Late. <laughs> and sometimes it's difficult. So you start setting it from a very young age, you yeah. know. Yeah. In that way, even my kids when, when they know they come from school, they're supposed to play. Mm -hmm. When the neighbor comes and say, Mommy, we don't play this deal. Mm -hmm. So they already know. Yeah. So then we come to the teenage. Teenager, you gotta be patient with them. I know sometimes people say you gotta go. Oh, you gotta do this. You gotta you gotta be patient with them. If you want to relate to teenagers, you got to be patient with them. But be a little flexible, but don't be too flexible. But be patient with them. Honest, have a conversation with them. You sit one on one and you talk. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes people say, "Oh, sometimes my family they say I'm too I'm too quiet with my kids. They say I spoil I'm, I'm a spoiler." I say no, and then when I stand up, they like, "Oh, you're too tough." Some I like, yeah. It get a time we play. Yeah, but time to play is play time. Time to be. Wow. And when I'm talking something, I just my eyes. When my eyes moving, you know, even with joy when she see mommy eyes moving, she know mommy eyes is moving. So don't be too because when you. When you're too hard on them, they will run away from you. Yeah, don't be so tough. Don't be them. too tough. Yeah. Or start setting these rules yeah. from a little place. Yeah. 
don't be too tough or else they will run. And they will stay in their room. Mm -hmm. They will stay on their phone. They will stay away from your gathering. Mm -hmm. The moment you come into the door, they'll be going to the other door. When you go in the living room, they go in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to avoid you. And don't be too whiny. I don't know whether it's the right word to use. Yeah, don't don't, complain don't or... whine for one thing. Don't complain about one thing over and over and over. And I will go to us Africans. Don't complain about one thing over and over. Teenager don't want to hear that. Yeah. The moment they see you are you, you somebody who complains so much. You're talking one thing for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. They're done with you. They, they won't trust you. If you want to talk to them, you have that conversation and you move past it. Don't come back. Don't remind them about it. Don't keep coming back. Yeah. Or find a time every day, every week, find a time and sit your teenagers down and you'll talk. Tell me about school. Check on their school. Check on their phone. See what they're doing on their phone. Check their phone. Sometimes they say, hey, I just want to see your phone. Yeah. Build that relationship. So like she said, build a relationship with your teenager because I know that moon swing a lot. Oh, swing I up. know I have my little cousin over for a month. Ha! This girl gave me a headache. She was in her room. Activity. She don't want to go nowhere. Her moon swing. She felt good. Me. Happy son. <laughs> That's the sad son. Oh, oh God. My God. Is there my daughter? Where she going to go through this thing with me? And I, I was like, I can't wait for her to leave. But she said, we have to have patience with them because... Yeah. The moon swing. I don't know where it's going, but it's just swing. That like we the adult. The pressure of the world. We adult. Our moon swing. Yeah. Sunday want to don't want to be bothered at swing. all. And Sunday want to be bothered. So we just have to be patient. And we have no teenager in our blended family. You have to know them because, like she said, they all come from a different home. You don't know what the mom, the activity, the way they talk, the thing they do in the house. So when they start acting up. Don't just complain, she said, start complaining, start complaining. I mean, you talk to them, you have to let them know script for, this is this in my home, this is that in my home, I don't like this, and this is what we're going back. But just don't repeat one thing over and over. So, says Jenny. Yeah. We're going to take, um, you're going to say something, right? No, go ahead, go ahead. We're going to take our 60-second break. We're going to be right back with you guys. Guys, do not forget, continue to watch. For those that are watching, you are the VIP, real VIP for watching. VIP. Like, comment, share the video. I know somebody needs to hear this. Our little two cents in a blending family. So if you know somebody that in that type of family, family right now, that things are going up and down, I mean, share the video. Do not forget, we're on Richard TV. Uh, Vertical YouTube on YouTube and Facebook. Come in and join us. We'll be right back. Back to Richard TV. Uh, this is Lady Angeline, Sis Janice, my course host. And today's topic is um, blended family. What are the disadvantages and advantage? So today we're talking about advantage, the good things that happen in a blended family, the best things, the great things that will make your relationship work. So we're talking about the great things. And next week, by the grace, we're going to talk about part two, the bad things that people think blended family cannot work. So uh, do you want to read what um, Miss 
I miss that she keep, she keep us on fire, yeah. She said, as Jenny said, don't talk too much. No. <laughs> so if you like me, I like to talk too much. Don't we talk can too much. Cut it down by the teenager. We stop on teenager. We have, because the Bible said that do not provoke your children in a way they want to respect you. Or Because you know we're African. We don't know how to talk to our children. We can yeah. talk to them any way that we feel like talking to anyway. them. So the Bible said we should not provoke them. So that's why the question I was asking her. So she said, don't talk too much. Learn how to listen to them and try to get that connection with them. Feel like, sure. uh, I understand you. Because they want us to understand them. We don't, they don't yeah. want us to judge them and be like, oh, this is, that is not right. Yeah. We have to understand them had that connection with them and uh, that's what teenagers are looking for because some of us talk too much and they get tired or they don't trust us don't. because the answer will give them or would you talk in a rude way so do you have anything to say concerning um, that also like we talk about being patient with them yeah um and i'll use my own son as an example being patient yeah it's it's a working process don't get me wrong but being patient. Patient is the number I, one key. I'm telling you, it's the number one key. Being patient. Showing them love. Sometimes in the house when he's walking, I just grab him and say, come on, and give mommy a hug. No. You know, I just hold him and act, yeah. I love you. Yeah. You know, let them know you love them. Yeah. Show it. Yeah. Don't be too busy. Mm -hmm. And I'll go to us who love to stay on the phone with yeah. our friends. Mm -hmm. The time you spend on the phone with your friends, spend some of those time with your children. Get to know them. Get to know them. Ask, ask them about the day at school. Mm -hmm. How's school going? Mm -hmm. And in my house, I tell my kids, I say, hey, we're not perfect. Yeah. Mistakes is allowed to be made. Mm -hmm. Because um, I look at my own mistakes I made in my life. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Mistakes are allowed to be made because if we don't make the mistakes, how can we be better? How can we mistakes learn? Mistakes is all part of mankind. Yeah. So, you know, open that little corridor for mistakes. Don't don't make them to think, oh, it got to be perfect when you are not perfect or I am not perfect. Mm -hmm. Then I'm telling them, oh, it got to be perfect, perfect, perfect. Then my son will be like, okay, ma. In his brain, like, oh, okay. So let's be real to our children. Let's be practical. That's why I tell my kids, I'm a very practical mom. Let's be very practical to them because kids will better understand what they see. They will better believe what they see. So don't tell them when it's blue that you tell them it's black. You know, I tell them, I say, hey guys, mistakes are allowed to be made. Mm -hmm. But what do you do after the mistakes? Yeah. You know what? You put your broken pieces back together and you go for the top. You know, you come from the bottom and you shoot to the top. Yeah. So don't sit there when you make the mistake. Don't sit there when you make a D. You work on it, and the next time you come out, you come out with an A. I said, because it's possible. Mm -hmm. So you take that time and you talk to them. Get to know their friends. You know, like yeah. you and myself were talking the other day. Get to know who the friends they hang out with. Yeah. Get to know them. If possible, if you can know the friends' parents, just take your little step further. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Go in that extra mile. Yeah. Letting them know you are there for them. And the most important thing, let them trust you. Mm -hmm. Don't be the mom who will say, I will, I will spend time with you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you, know you're what? never there. <laughs> you know what? I will take you to the grocery store mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you're never there. Mm -hmm. Your word should be your word. I don't care how tiny you can be. Even if you guys are in a room where you don't have furniture. Yeah. But when you say something, stand for what you say. It's very important. Very important, as she said, very important. You don't have to be the rich person on the no. earth for your family to work. The little money you have, it can work. So don't you have that love? I love. The Bible said love conquer everything. That's everything. Okay. So love. So don't you have that love? People say blending family don't work. But love is the it key. Do. It can, it's the key. It so we're going to skip that part. We don't want to. So we talk about the roles, the roles are in blending family. What are some roles that okay, let's talk about the, the two peers, the two adults in our home. What are their roles when it comes to the babies? The husband and wife, right? Yeah. Before we join to the kids. The first role that you understand they are the parents mm -hmm. in that home. Yeah. So as mom and a dad, they have to keep a standard. 
You know what I mean? They have to keep a standard as mom and dad mm -hmm. because the kids are watching them. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing about blended family, they are kids from different homes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From two different homes. Yeah. So think about it. From two different homes, another dad and another mom somewhere. Yeah. That other dad and other mom have a different upbringing, you know? Yeah. So they have other siblings too. Mm -hmm. Think about it. So dad and mom in that home have to be an example. Their yes should be their yes. Yes. Their no should be their no. Mm -hmm. And above all, there should be love in that home. Love. Because love will conquer everything. Every single thing. If bit. that child comes from, mm -hmm. from, from the other family and whatever that child was told, mm -hmm. but when that child walks in that home and that child sees love, that child sees his dad loving his stepmom mm -hmm. or his stepmom loving his stepdad, mm -hmm. child, that child knows he will succeed with whatever he came with or yeah. she came with. Yeah. Because love is the center of that home. Mm -hmm. And if you are a believer, try to teach your children how to pray. Mm -hmm. How to know God. Start teaching them from a very young age. Hold hands together. You don't have to do it every day. Mm -hmm. Start it from somewhere. Your hold hands and pray together. I usually do all my kids in the evening, in the night, before we sleep. Before we st start practicing it. Practice. Because it becomes part of them. And it holds the family together. Yeah. Because after our devotion or before devotion, we talk about things that happen during our day. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if somebody did something, mm -hmm. We talk about it before going to devotion. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did this today. You lied today. You didn't come from school on time. Yeah. You didn't do your all your teacher send this email. Mm -hmm. We talk about it before devotion That's because good. it gave us time to talk. Yeah. So mm -hmm. those those are those are the things. So parents, you have to keep 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 up there as parents. Yeah. The parent, the mommy and dad. Your roles. You all know your roles. Do not they. Matter of fact, do not even ask. Okay, we're we'll leaving for we'll now. Yeah, we're we'll coming to the disadvantages. Yes, yes. I'm yes. um, almost. I'm sorry. So we're gonna talk about. I even forgot it. I wanted to ask you. So we're gonna talk about um the next roles that the kids. How about the kids? What are their roles for each other? Like the roles for each of the kids is to be respectful, respectful. to one another. Yeah, respect is the key. Mm -hmm. Be respectful. Because if I respect you, then wish me I love you. That's how I understand it. Yeah. If I respect you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Being able to listen to one another. Yeah. Because sometimes it's like, just listen. Even if it is nonsense, just listen. Just because listen. to you it may be nonsense, yeah. but to me, I'm telling, so like my, my little, my daughter, my five years old, she just said, she would be saying, and someday I'm like, okay. And then what does she say? Mommy, you're not listening to yeah, me. Yeah, like, you know you're not you're listening. Not, you're not listening. And she was so right. That day I wasn't listening. I was, so, I was there, but I was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So listening to each other as kids. And I'm telling you, if you are a parent and sometimes you just pay attention to these kids, you'll be, they talk. Yeah. They do talk. Mm -hmm, they definitely they do. They say things that I'm telling them, they will tell you everything. And that's what I love in that family because when the kids are united. Yeah. They will tell you everything that happened in that other house. Yeah, yeah. They will share every everything. information with their peer, with their yeah. siblings. Oh, you know my mom did this. Mm -hmm. This is what my dad is doing. Mm -hmm. So the main thing is love, love, listening to each other, letting them know, hey, certain rules and boundaries. You know, yeah. hey, this is your sibling that like we talked from the beginning. This is your brother. Yeah. This is his dad. Yeah. His mom is this. Mm -hmm. Make your other children to know this child parents too. Yeah. Like his biological mom, yeah. his 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 if his step if he have a step dad in mm -hmm. his life too. Also get them to know so when he's talking other. about his, his family yeah. from the other house, mm -hmm. the kids in the house won't be surprised that what is he talking about yeah. or what is she talking about, they already know. Yeah. So get the both families involved. Yes. So that when he goes home, he's talking about his family, his siblings too, you know? Yeah. So respect, love, listening to each other, mm -hmm. understanding that they are part of that family. Yeah. Make the rules that, hey, this is your brother, this is his house too. Yeah. Even though he doesn't live here, if he yeah. don't live there, if he only come to spend time, time let the other kids know he's spending time. If he live there, mm -hmm. Let the other kids know this is your brother, period, yep. or your sister. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to go the other one and say, oh, yeah, step. No. you know, this is your brother. Even if you go to say this is your step because you want to choose. This is your half brother because yeah. you want to choose to be, you know. But let them know I love him just how I love you. Yeah. And you show it, don't just say it. Mm -hmm. Because if that other child see that you love that child, yeah. that other child will follow you. Yeah. But if that other child hear you talking about his sibling, yeah. oh, my God. 
Mm -hmm. I don't understand. So we parents, we have a lot because whenever we do our children images from us. Yes. Because we female, most of the kids with us. So whatever right. example we show them, they go by it. Yes. If I miss <laughs> miss you know, on treating my stepson or my another mm -hmm. person child, he'll be like, just, he'll do the same thing. He just, he'll, brought, he just brought something to my yeah, mind right now. He'll walk over that child. Especially yeah. with women. Yeah. And then we wonder about why the child don't, why the children don't like me too. I yeah. know sometimes the parents will say a lot. Yeah. But how the child will like you when the child just hold you on the phone talking with somebody about their mom or their dad? Yeah. You yeah. know, saying something nasty. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, she don't love me. She, why are you saying something? Yeah. So don't talk things if we talk about that next week. You so know? She want to spot the whole thing. Yeah, we'll spot it. So the next stuff. question, we will end, we almost finish. Activity. Activity in a blending home, blending oh, family. Oh. Is it like, I know it's good. We'll go out, we'll enjoy ourselves. So let us know about more the activities and Activities in a blended family, very interesting. Yeah. But before you come up with activity, you gotta know the children. Yeah. No. Because not every children love certain activity. Of course. You gotta know what activity is this child interested in. Yeah. Because sometimes people try to do good, but then they miss it. Mm -hmm. They do. They doing good, but they doing the wrong good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She like I did everything I could, but the child said because you didn't ask the child what the child wanted yeah, to exactly. do. Yeah. You know. And I'm going to just put it like my niece when they came last week. She wanted to go to the mall. Mm -hmm. So you found out from the child, what is it that you want to do? Yeah. Or you check with the mom, what are the things the child like? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You check with them because they know the child more than you. Yeah. But if, if it's something that you think is not right, then you discuss with the mom. Okay, I heard this, but do you think we can try a new one? Mm -hmm. So all this play, you plan, you plan it with the children. You have to play it with them because mm -hmm. it's for them. And that's why we we usually make mistakes. We make activities for us, yeah. thinking that we're making it for we the like children. It. Like, for my example, we're having children party, children party, but we call all the, the, <laughs> the adults. adults. Yeah, it's not a child party again. <laughs> so you have to play it with the child, with the children. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what you guys think this weekend? Mm -hmm. What you want us to do this weekend? Yeah. I know they are kids, that's why you have to know from the different level. Yeah. So if you have kids on a five, mm -hmm. like, okay guys, one of five, you know, they won't tell you anything. Yeah. Then after they have told you, you look at it as a parent, okay, this is right. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't want to go, say with someone, go to the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. So you like, okay. Then you take them to the swimming pool and you stay there with them. You stay in the water with them. Yeah. Don't take them to the swimming pool and you're on your phone. <laughs> Put your phone aside and stay with them. Yeah, or you take them to buy ride. They want to ride a bike. Yeah. Or you just take a walk as a family. Yeah. Or if there's something that they want to read, I would always say encourage your children to read because yeah. reading is very powerful. Yes. Or if it is girls, you know, at that age, they like sleep over. Yeah. So play it with them so that they can have fun. Yeah. And don't overdo it. Don't it's one step at a time. Don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. Don't do it one again and you finish it with them. I don't know what she did over there. <laughs> little by little, you know? <laughs> yeah. So Miss Stephanie had come in. So you want to read so can. Okay. Miss Stephanie, she said yes. Doing things together is a good idea. Of course. Let the children, the child, choose what they want to, to do. do. You see? Yes. Miss yes, Stephanie, I learned it from of you. Course. Yeah, you see? So we want to end, but yes. I wanted to ask her one good Thank thing about... Thank you so much, Miss Stephanie. Blending family. I mean, it's a lot of good things if you look at it. Because a lot of family are working together. So that together, the children now grow. They're in college. They even have their own children now. Yes. So. Blending family can work, right? They do work. So, okay, we'll talk about the activity. You say do it together or ask them. Yes. What if the girl and the guy, is it good for guys and the boys just the same guy? I mean, Sunday y'all come together, but girls do their girls and guys do their guys. Is it a good idea? Yes, I that? would say yes. It is a good idea because um, you want to get to know that daughter, just you and her. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Because there are some things that girls do, boys are not interested in, in doing it. Yeah. Like, I would tell you, like, my brother, he done the temple who like to shopping. Mm -hmm. So when he, my wife, his wife, and I mm. hang out with his daughter, oh, love we, we love shopping. We love window <laughs> shopping. So, and those are things that most girls like. Yeah. Girls want to go get her nails done. She mm. want to get her hair done. Yeah. You don't want to take the boys to the salon yeah, while you're doing your hair. Yeah, patience for that. So, and I'm telling you, yeah, one of the ways you can you can connect with a daughter, mm -hmm. with, a, with, a, with a blended daughter yeah. and, and stepdaughter. Yep. 
take her out, take get her. to know her, y'all do things together. Yeah, it's know? not hard to be the it's whole not, group the whole time. To. Yeah, sometimes, so. and, and all about planning. Yeah. Like we said, little by little. Mm -hmm. So you say, hey guys, this week is daddy and son's week. Yeah. This, this week is mommy and daughter week. Yeah. And you're planning, when you come back, you're talking about your experience yeah. together. Yeah, all, and it's yeah. just understanding and being one. Yes. Um, we have a comment here. Dom Doreen, yeah. sorry if I mispronounce your name. She said, good job, thank ladies. You. Keep it up. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, sis. Thank you. So like my co-host was saying, it's good to separate some time. Yes. Know each other. Know who the kids you're dealing with. Because yes. you're all together. You won't even know. You all have fun, but you yes. won't even know this girl. No. Like, you want to know her. So yeah. it's, it's not like you pick it and choose. And some people are like, no. oh, you don't like this one. That's why you take that one out. No, it's not like that. And not, not the way we're saying. We're saying, like, it's something you're girls and girls. Oh, right. I'm not being picky and I don't like you or anything like that. You just right. let the other child know that. I just want to spend time with this one and get to know her or get to know him. Sometimes right. you be the lady that take the boy out right. and know him. So it's good. Um, it's good to know your children because now you cannot call in your step because your children. I don't even let like some piece. I know, it's the right word I know that's why I break the relationship it bring, too. It bring a little. You know, yeah. I'm in the house and they calling me step. Oh, yeah. my step daughter. Yeah, how the child will take it. That's my daughter. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Give me the so. last the right word, but let be let be human. Yeah. You know, let be because let be mothers. When you in fathers, the home, you know, you calling me step my daughter, daughter. and you know? I'm your step daughter. Okay, I'm Everybody your step daughter. Into this, yeah. Give my, me my step yeah. daughter. Put it up. Mm. It's not an adjective. I don't know. Help me. They'll be like you know. They will take it different. Please don't meet my daughter, yeah. Grace, or please, you know? Yes, yes. So we yes. thank you so much, ladies, for all those that watched today's episode of The Woman in Me Show, yes. Who That Beautiful Woman Is In You. So thank you so much for watching uh, on Clover TV, uh, Richard on YouTube, Richard TV on Facebook, if you like to follow those two please follow us join us every sunday at 5 p.m and every every sunday for 5 to 6 p.m we're going to be live every sunday by the grace of god give up that life we're going to be yeah. with you every day so make sure you leave your comment make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you you let us know what the topic that you want us to talk about all right and my sis host uh, the people won't follow you. What your Facebook? Uh, my Facebook is Janice Peters. So just Janice Peters on Facebook. Janice Peters on Facebook. If you want to know who this beautiful lady that I talk a lot of good That's things. Crazy. And follow, follow her on Facebook. Mine is Angeline Wilson on Facebook. I have YouTube. It's Lady Angeline on YouTube channel. It's like I do a lot of DIY activity on that channel. And my other one is lady and no on you on facebook i have two facebook guys <laughs> these are different things that i want to do on those facebook and thank you so much for everyone that watched says jenny do you have anything i just want to thank all of those who are in the blended family yeah. relationship oh would well, they come to the conclusion um um words of encouragement yes so that's what <laughs> i was sorry. about to say i just want to appreciate you 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 are doing a, a great job keep it up don't listen to what people say that oh she did she that just be you yeah be the best mom you can be be the best dad you can be i'm telling you and what you do for those kids it will pay one day i'm yeah. telling you they might not see it right now don't give up i know sometimes it can be so challenging yeah it can be frustrating but hey, just hang in there and be a loving mom, a loving dad, because one day it will pay off. One day, when they're in a quiet time, I'm telling you, one day they will look back mm -hmm. and they will look at the good things you've done. Yeah. Don't don't make a mistake to do wrong or to do, oh, because she's not she don't appreciating me mm -hmm. or she don't like me, so I'm going to show her this. No. Mm -hmm. Just be the loving mom you can be and be the loving dad you can be. Because God brought you there way for a reason. Mm -hmm. Just show them that love. And through the grace of God, one day they will come along. 
Yeah. Give them that love because they need it. And don't forget to spend time with them. Spend time with your kids. Please stay off the phone. The phone spend can us. time. Let us get to know our children. <laughs> and us. for the record, Blender Family is beautiful. It is so beautiful. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. So who, those of you that are into it, enjoy it. Stay blessed. And next week, we're going to be right back talking about the disadvantages. Keep your comments coming, subscribe, and I'll see you next week at God's we grace. We one coming. <laughs> we had done, she replied. Is that one to a lady or God? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, thank you, sis. Thank you. She said, I think you guys have to give opportunity to people to share their problems so you can discuss it and find solution to it because problems share is problem solved. Thanks, guys. Have a blast. She is so right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sis. We're going to look into this, and this is very, very important. We're definitely going to look into it, and we're going to give a room for it. God bless you so much. Y'all thank all of you so much. Like you said, if you have any topic, uh, just leave it on here. We're definitely going to talk on the topic, because no topic is silly or stupid. We're going to talk about every topic that you want us to talk about. Just let us know. Leave your comment, like she said. If you have any, it don't have to be your own problem. It can be your friends, your mom, or somebody. Just let us know, and we're going to definitely hit on everything that you post or you comment. We want to tell you thank you. We want to say thank you to you, you all for liking, comment. For those that watch, we want to say thank you so much. You are the VIP, oh, VIP for the whole day. Yes, VIP. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll be back by the grace of God. We cannot wait to join you for next week episode because that's the bad one. And everybody have a comment. So thank you again. And we're going to be back. Thank you, Sis Esther and Stephanie. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. And like she said, um, Leaving room for the comments so we can discuss it. That is very important. Yeah. We need to look into that. Yeah. So thank you again. And y'all have a wonderful week. Remember to show love to those that come your way. Be an example. Be that light. Be that joy that God has given you. And enjoy.